The main thing I was trying to show with the video is the particular look of how Wing Chun actually is in the fight. The multiple part that I wanted to cover is one, first the strategy behind it, okay? If you're dealing with multiple people, what's the key thing? You either be in the middle of the circle of the multiples, or if a lot of people wonder, is it safer to have your back against the wall and deal with half, half the amount? And in Wing Chun's strategy, the way you look at it is you want to be in the, in the middle of the circle. And the philosophy behind that is being in the middle of the circle if I take out one person, then I can become out the other part of the circle. I have the whole option from any part of the circle. If I have my back against the wall, I have, I have, no, I have no place to run out the, uh, from the backside. So from here, I only have, have half the option as far as where to escape. Then we deal with the first attack, and that was the attack from Ken. Something different that you look at is when you see Hollywood fighting or any kind of fighting, you look at, you saw a big hook punch from Ken. And strangely enough, people do do this in real fighting and professional fighting. But if you notice, how did I block that? And in Wing Chun, we approach it differently. When you see attacks from other arts, they, you're thinking, here's the punch, I want to block the punch, or I want to block this kick. I never look at the punch, I never look at the kick. I only see his center. The second section with the fight is when Robert was there. And uh, one, thing, uh, be, one thing I wanted to showcase with that, while it doesn't seem so special, is actually showcasing the Wing Chun guard hand. Because a lot of times, uh, over, over the years, they've been show, showing different ways to hold the Wing Chun guard hand from uh, one movie to another, all the way from out here or some, some are up here. It, the way we hold it is basically everyone's saying some form of triangle concept involved with holding the, hold, holding the structure. But if you look at how I had my hands in the, in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the film, it was basically like this. Why does this function this way? I cover the center because we attack the center and we protect the center. That's our philosophy behind fighting. So in other words, I could take a hit on the arm, I'll still, I'll still live. I take a hit down the center and then it's game over from that point on. So that's why from this point, I always have two hands covering the center. At the last moment, uh, I did, before he did his pock chop counter to me, that was an arm break. That's called shina. But then afterwards to finish him off, I did something of a takedown motion to him to bring him down also. So there is no limitation as far as what you can do with Wing Chun. It's only limited if you don't know how to actually apply it. When Wing Chun attacks, we, we just don't attack. We, it's a very safe process. I attack he bl and block and control my hand at the same time. In other words, by the time he tries to deal with my hand after it attacks him, I'm already attacking with another attack and so forth. So every single time he moves, he's getting hit. Because you remember, in the beginning, we, I said, I don't care about the blocks or attacks. I, all I care about is his center. So every adjustment I do is for attack to his center. So even if he tries to block one hand, I go swarm to the other one. He blocks this hand, I swarm to the other one. And it's just a chain, chain, chain attack over and over again. So it's almost like a drowning feeling. So even if you keep trying to block it, you're still getting hit every time you move. The third section of the fight I put in specifically or I choreographed it in a specific way because a lot of times the perception of Wing Chun is that it looks rigid. You're holding your guard a certain way and you have to move in a robotic fashion. The design is when Ron came in to attack me from the, from the side, notice I wasn't in an upright position and, in a, and holding my guard up here in, in the normal way that you normally see Wing Chun fighting. I actually made a swoop and then changed my center totally. The thing to remember is once you have control of the center, you can manipulate it any way you want, but that's the, that's the key thing. You're developing to control the center, and then later on in application, you can make it do whatever you want it to do. So in that, in that scene, when Ron went for a hook, I went for an inside diagonal motion, but I also ducked and changed my center in, in, a, in a variant way as opposed to just staying in a 50-50 stance. So after Ron took the hit, then I wanted to showcase also that there is kicking in Wing Chun. And the two kicks I basically used was a nailing kick to his, to his ankle, went for the break for his ankle. And then I put a little bit of more fancy into that by doing a spin with it. But the last kick to his face is combination of a spin with a jet gur. But notice for the most part, Wing Chun, as far as kicks, is still, I never go too high. The fourth section of the fight, um, this, the main thing I wanted to showcase is the concept of power. All right, power, a lot of times people don't understand that there is a balance as far as going yin and yang on and off as far as how you do it with power. So in, in a lot of fight situations, you see someone go punch, punch with the same side. And you're like, he punched him several times, but he can't knock him out or kill him from that point because power is not natural from that point. After uh, Willie did a chest grab to me, what I do? I basically, after I, the hit, I did a knee to his chest midsection and then a knee, knee to his groin. But in order for me to generate the power after the first knee, I had to put my foot down and do another kick. 
Hopefully everyone uh, who's viewing this uh, really enjoys what we put together and hopefully we make more of these in the future if you really like it. And uh, I wanted to thank everyone who participated in, uh, from, uh, in the fight scene that we did as well as our main camera guy Justin for uh, setting everything up.